an important element for project managers is that they can make a difference between tangible and intangible costs. What is the difference between the two? How we define level of effort activities in projects? And what about level of effort activities and earned value management? The difference between tangibles and intangibles is not so difficult to understand. Tangibles are things that can be touched, things we produced, for example, the deliverables. Even a project code is a tangible. Intangibles cannot be touched. They do not create deliverables, but they have to be paid for anyway. Intangibles are typically referred to as level of effort activities. The main composition of those level of effort activities are project management itself and quality control. The level of effort activities in projects, like I said, the project management itself, the work done by the project management team, and there may be also some parts in the activities that could be level of effort activities. Project management is, like I said before, a level of effort activity. We have to do project management. Without project management, we will not be able to manage the project effectively. It does not really create deliverables. It creates reports, it creates documents, templates, but no work is done related to the creation of the project itself. Project management starts when the project begins and ends when the project ends. Level of, act, of effort activities are always on time. The project management will always start at the beginning of the project and always finish on time when the project is finished. Another example of level of effort activities in projects are quality control or elements related to quality management. The same thing, they don't create deliverables, but quality management, quality control of the deliverables before they are accepted is necessary. Those quality assurance and control activities start with the activity and also finish when the activity is completed. They are essential, but again, not tangible. They are not creating the deliverables themselves. They're just verifying that they comply with the specifications. Let's have a look on the effect of level of effort activities on earned value management. Earn value management looks at the work done and the deliverables that have been completed. It evaluates the schedule, timing information, and the cost of the creation of those deliverables. Level of effort activities do not create anything. They're always on time and the cost depends only on the amount of people you assign to project management activities or the number of quality controls you do. They do not relate to the work that is being done. Since earned value management is based on extrapolation, we have to exclude those level of effort activities and just consider the information about schedule and cost related to the deliverables. Once the extrapolation is done, we can add those level of effort activities again to the total cost of the project. Level of effort activities can have a negative effect on our earned value management. Imagine that our level of effort are lower 
than we estimated. It will give us the impression that the project is performing better than in reality. And when they are higher than originally estimated, we will have the wrong impression that the project is not performing well. We want to know exactly what is happening with the project. So when you do earn value management, you have to exclude those level of effort activities. We will not look at that in detail in this course, but it's important that you already understand the difference between tangibles, intangibles, and level of effort. See you in the next session.